from Politics and International Studies. The title of his thesis is Friendship in World Politics, Assessing Personal Relations Between American and European Heads of State and Government. The title of his three-minute thesis is Why Friendship Matters. This year, Germany celebrates the 25th year anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. But I want to talk to you about a much more important date. On the, 20, the 22nd of September 1984 at Verdun in France. Now, Verdun is a very special place. It is the site of a major battle in the First World War between France and Germany. Hundreds of thousands of French and German soldiers have lost their life there. The Remembrance Service is broadcast live in France and Germany every year. The entire day is meticulously planned and organized. There's a German band playing the French anthem and a French band playing the German anthem. At the supreme moment, the two heads of state, François Mitterrand of France and Helmut Kohl of Germany, step forward. Now they're both very intimately connected to Verdun. François Mitterrand was wounded and captured there in the Second World War and Helmut Kohl's father had fought there in the First World War. When they step forward is at a moment of silence and the two leaders are standing silently together. It's a very cold day, it's raining, there's a very cold wind, when all of a sudden, François Mitterrand reaches out and grabs Helmut Kohl's hand. Now you can't see it in this picture, but Kohl is actually holding back tears at this moment. This moment is broadcast live throughout the world. The next week, the next month, it is the talk of the decade. What had happened here? A new era of reconciliation between France and Germany had begun. But how could two actual enemies now have become friends? My research focuses on friendship between politicians and the influence it has. Now, the relationship between Kohl and Mitterrand is a prime example of this. They had grown very close in their interactions with each other and they even went so far as to tune their political agenda towards each other's policies. Now, the friendship wasn't always perfect and one of the things they were divided upon was German reunification. France was afraid that a joint Germany would pose a new military threat in the future and the entire population was against it and Mitterrand being the president was also opposing it. This put a very heavy strain on their relationship. What happened next is extraordinary. Helmut Kohl actually traveled to the vacation home of Mitterrand and he spent the weekend there trying to win back the friendship. And he succeeded not only in getting his friend back, he even won François Mitterrand's support for German reunification. And Mitterrand became one of the largest supporters of German reunification and his vote was one of the crucial factors in Europe that actually made that happen. Now there's more to their friendship. They were the driving force behind further European integration. They advocated the Poland joint uh, a common joint security policy. They even introduced the idea of a common currency, the euro, which 10 years after German reunification would become a reality. What made a difference in the end and what brought down the wall was a simple friendship between two politicians.